Alright, what the fuck is up, everyone? Prism Metaler here. Um, back with an album re rank. And as I mean, it's going to be on corn. Um, yeah, I've done corn before in the past. It's still there, so I'm doing a re rank on it. Since it's changed a lot. So, yeah. Um, so, as you all may know it, um, yeah, I decided, it's been a while since I did a re-rank, so I've been quite busy a while since I'm working on my new ranking, which is Dio. I'm almost done with it, by the way. It, it's, it will definitely be my next video, my Dio ranking. It'll probably be out maybe next two days or so. So, yeah, I'm almost done with it. So, yeah, back to the topic. Let's get started with the uh, ranking or re-ranking. All right. Now, starting up as the worst one, and I know it's the worst, and that album is still the path of totality. More like the ass of shitality. Yes. Fuck this garbage ass album. This album fucking sucks dick. I mean, seriously. I have I don't have I don't like any songs from this one. Yes, I used to like get up in Arkansas to Cannibal, but now I hate it. That those songs age badly for me. I hated this album since it came out. And I hated this album now. This album sucks. And there's one song that I always hate. It's a bonus track. That song is Feels the Comedy. Oh my god, that's a horrible song. Yeah. All the songs sucks. This is actually one of the worst albums I've ever heard. To be honest. Yeah, this album is total trash. I mean, it's just fucking... It's just this EDM dubstep garbage, and that's what this is. It's just dubstep garbage. I understand that Korn wants to sound different, but this is not this is not new metal at all. It's just fucking. This is just. It's just cringy at times. It's flat out cringy. I mean, seriously, I don't know what they're thinking with this album, but thank God they're not doing that shit anymore. So yeah, fuck this album. Path of Totality comes in as their worst at number 13. Okay, now, number 12. I'm going to pick um, three Remember Who You Are. Now, this album isn't good at all either. I have no favorite track. I, I don't like any tracks on this one. But the reason why I think it's better than um, Path of Totality is because it's not dubstep garbage. That's why. Yes, it's cool to bring back the producer, Ross Robinson, and all that. But um, but this album, is, this album isn't good at all. I mean, the production is just very muddy. The I don't like Monkey's guitar sounding in this album. It sounds really, really bad. On a muddy sounding guitar, on a seven string guitar with money production. And it's just a mess throughout this album. So I have no tracks for this one. So yeah. I mean, I used to like a few songs from this one, but it really, it really aged badly for me. So yeah. It's my least favorite at number 12. So yeah. Three, Remember Who You Are comes in at 12. Alright, now number 11, I got their Untitled album. Um, this album, it's okay, but it's not, it's not good. It's okay, but, um, yeah, this one, they... A bit, a little similar to see you on the other side, but they want to make it more experimental, and it just doesn't really sound good. The production is very muddy. 
and but it does have some song but there's a few songs I actually do like from this one that's why I think it's better than um, three remember who you are and path of totality here's the songs I do like so, starting over bitch we got a problem evolution hold on and killing so yeah those are the four songs that I do like from this one. So, yeah. This one, it's kind of weird at times, but I'm not a fan of it. So, yeah. This comes in... So, yeah, their Untitled Album comes in at number 11. Okay, number 10. I'm going to pick... The Paradigm Shift. Um, this one, I'll say it's a lot better than their last three albums. And it brought back uh, Brian Head Welch, which was a cool return. But the album's not quite there yet for me. Um, I'll do say it's an improvement over their last three albums. But nowhere near their best. There's a few stinker songs like... I thought Never Never was utter garbage, in my opinion. Um, since it has this dubstep sounding trash, and it, it does has a little bit of dubstep sounding to it, but it, they didn't abuse it like they did in Path of Totality. But, um, yeah. But the songs I do like is Pray For Me, Love and Meth, Spike in My Veins, Mass Hysteria, uh, punishment Time, and Lullaby for a Sadist. So yeah, those are the songs I do like from this album, but um, it's not nearly their greatest, as you may say. What are you doing? Hey. Good boy. Sorry, guys, it's my cat. Um, but yeah, The Paradigm Shift comes in as my fourth least favorite at number 10. Okay, number nine, I'm going to get a lot of controversy here. Like, very controversy, guys. And I'm going to pick Untouchables. I used to love this album way long time ago, but now it kind of aged really bad for me. Yes, I know it's very expensive making album. Production is good and all that, but are the songs from there are really that great? I mean, really, who likes Beat It Up Right? What about what about One More Time? Does anyone like that song? What about Wake Up Hate? I thought Wake Up Hate is garbage. Seriously. But yeah, but don't get me wrong. There's plenty of songs I do like from this album. And here are the songs I do like. The songs I do like from this album is Here to Stay, Make Believe, um, Hollow Life, Thoughtless, Hating, Alone I, eh, Alone I Break, and Embrace. So yeah, those are the few songs I do like from this one. Um, but yeah, I thought this album isn't very, isn't, I thought this one was quite overrated, but I don't think this album is great as many people say it was. So it has to be at number nine in my opinion. So yeah, Untouchables comes in at number 9. Okay, now number 8. I'm going to pick Take a Look in the Mirror. Yes, I do think this album is better than Untouchables in my opinion. A lot of people hate this album. And many people says it's their worst, which I strongly disagree but whatever but um yeah um i like its production sound i definitely enjoy it um i kind of like the production sound it just makes it sound heavier so here are the songs i do love right now break some off counting on me um Deep Inside, Did My Time, Everything I've Known, Alive, Let's Do This Now, 
and when will this end? So yeah, those are the songs I do like. Um, the reason why I put this lower is because of this song, Play Me. That song was fucking garbage, in my opinion. I, I hated that song. I hated the song back then, and I still hate it now. But yeah, um, this album is just... Well, this is it's an amazing album, but take that song out, and I'll put it higher. So yeah, take a look in the mirror. It comes in at number eight. Now, um, number seven, I'm going to pick their latest album, The Nothing. Um, originally, I used to put this album really lower, but it's not anymore. It's now at the middle for me. Um, many people said it's one of their best albums they ever made. I disagree, but... Um, I strongly disagree, but I I don't think this album is that mind blowing to me. I feel like it's a bit too similar to the Serenity of Suffering. But I know why this I can understand why this album is made. Um as you me know, um it's mainly this it's mainly, re it's recorded, you know, after the death of his wife, of Jonathan Davis's wife and his mom. Um, the death of it, and it surely affected him. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I understand why many people acclaim, praise, overpraise this album, but for me... Uh, I bet it's just, it's just a typical corn album for me. Now, I still like it, but, um, yeah. But I'll say this. I do like this album much more than I did um, two uh, years ago. So, yeah. But the songs I do like from here is um, Cold, You'll Never Find Me, Darkness is Revealing, Finally Free, Ringmaster, uh, gravity of discomfort, this and this loss. So yeah, these are the songs I do like from this one, but um, yeah, I don't think it's one of their best in my opinion. So this has to come in at number seven. Okay, now number six, I'm gonna pick. See you on the other side. Um. I don't understand why many people hate this album. Many people put this at the near bottom. For me, I really like it. I still enjoy it. I like it way long time ago, and I like it now. So, yeah. I still enjoy the fuck out of this one. Yes, it's their first album without Brian Head Welch. And their final album with David Sil Silveria, or whatever his fucking last name is. Um... But yeah, um, I do enjoy this one. I still do. Here are the songs I really do like. Twisted Transistor, Politics, Hypocrites, Souvenir, Ten or a Two-Way, Love Song, Open Up, Coming Undone, Getting Off, Liar, Seen It All, and Tear Jerker. Tear Jerk, Yeah. Those are the songs I do love from this album. I love almost every song. Not all songs, but but almost all of it. So, yeah. I also love the B-side tracks as well. Here are the B-sides that I do love. Inside Out, Too Late I'm Dead. Too Late I'm Dead is an awesome... This is a very underrated song. It's Me Again, Eating Up Inside, Appears, and I'm the One. So yeah, I do love the B-side tracks from it as well. It's very underrated. But yeah. But unfortunately, um, See You on the Other Side comes in at number six for me. I know, maybe y'all hated this album because of its a different sound, but hey, I fucking love it. So yeah. See You on the Other Side comes in at number six. Okay, now number five, I'm going to pick 
the serenity of suffering. So yeah, five is the serenity of suffering. I do enjoy this album a whole lot. Um, this is Korn's best album since their 90s material. I would say that. I think, um, I think this is, um, shit, sorry guys. I, I feel like this is, it sounds like classic Korn to me. Um, I feel like Korn is really back with this one. They improved so much over the last few albums. Hell, not only a few, just a couple of their albums. And, yeah. I, I still think this album is better than um, The Nothing, in my opinion. That's why I really like this album a whole lot. Um, I like all songs from it. There's 11, well, 14. I do like the B-side tracks as well. I do enjoy those. So here are the songs I do love. Insane. Rotten in Vain, Black is the Soul, The Hating, A Different World, which features Corey Taylor from Slipknot and Stone Sour, R.I.P. Joey Jordison, speaking of Slipknot, Take Me, Everything Falls Apart, Die Yet Another Night, When You're Not There, Next in Line, Please Come For Me, and then here's the bonus songs, Baby, Call Me Too Soon, and Out of You. So yeah, I fucking enjoy this shit. This amazing album. Um, yeah. So, also notice that this is... You want to know why I think this is the most re most modern Korn album? is because it's the first album with Brian Head Welch writing the song. Return as a songwriter. That's why it sounds the most corniest... Well... I don't mean like corny as in dumb or stupid. No, I mean corny is like their most corn sounding material, as you may, you may know what I mean. So, yeah. Um, that's how I would say it, describe of this album. Their most corniest, not lame, I'm not referring to it as lame. Well, I mean corniest as in corn sound in album. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Serenity of Suffering comes in at number five. Okay, number four, I'm going to pick, um, Life is Peachy. Yes, the top four are all the 90s materials. Um, yeah, Life is Peachy. I fucking love this one. I like its bizarre sounding throughout. Um, it's weird, and this album is weird, it's scary, and funny, songs like Ass Itch, or Cunt, or whatever, but yeah, I do enjoy this album a whole lot throughout, um, there's 14 of them, Twist, She, Chai, Lost, Swallowed, <laughs> Porno Creep, Good God, Mr. Rogers, Cunts, No Place to Hide, Wicked, which features Chino Moreno of Deftones, which I'm a fan of Deftones, by the way. Adidas, or All Day I Dream About Sex. Lowrider, which is a war cover. Exodus did the same thing, too. Ass Itch, and Kill You, which I fucking love that song, Kill You, by the way. Um, very creepy track. Not as creepy as Daddy, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. I fucking enjoy this album. Um, as you me know, there's a hidden track, which is a Twist acapella. So yeah, there's an acapella version of Twist. Um, but yeah. I definitely enjoy this one. Definitely a classic album. But unfortunately, he comes in at number four. Okay, now, number three. I got... Well, this used to be my favorite, but now it's at number three. And I'm going to pick Issues. Um, I, don't get me wrong, guys. I still fucking love this album. 
But, um, yeah, I still love it. There's nothing much to say, but, um, yeah. I love this creepy atmosphere throughout this album. Sounds, I don't know if it's a concept album. It sounds like it is. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. But I like the creepy vibes throughout this album. Um, yeah. There are the songs I do love. There's 16 of, well, there's a lot of interludes. That's why there's 16. So it's Dead, Falling Away From Me, which is an awesome fucking song. Trash, For You, Back For Me. Make Me Bad, It's Gonna Go Away, Wake Up, Am I Going Crazy, Hey Daddy, Somebody, Someone, No Way, Let's Get This Party Started, Wish You Could Be Me, Counting, and Dirty. Yeah, I love all songs, even the interludes, it's just so creepy throughout this album, it just has this creepy feeling to it, and including that album cover, I find the album cover severely creepy looking. It's just a voodoo doll with an orange wall in the background. So yeah, I don't know why I find that I find that cover creepy. But nowadays issues will have to come in at number three for me. Okay, number two, I got their self-titled debut album, uh, Corn. Some of you know, this is the where New Metal started, the pioneer of New Metal. Um, this is the first album that's considered to be New Metal. So, yeah. I love all 12 of them, all 12 songs. So here are the songs. Blind, awesome fucking song. Baltown, Need To, Clown, Divine, Faggot. Shoots and Ladders, that's a very creepy fucking song. Ring around a rope. We should play that in front of Bath Fox. Predictable, fake, lies, helmet in the bush, and daddy. Fucking daddy. That song is so disturbing. As I mean, no, that song is about Jonathan being molested when he was like seven. It's very fucked up. So, I'm not going to go to the details, but yeah. If you want to look it up, go look at yourselves. And then, after this haunting song, about five minutes later, you get a hit and track called Michael and Jerry, which is a funny skit of a man and a woman arguing about some vacuum cleaner or something like that. Which, instead of... Which would... Which is hilarious. It would clean away the traumatizing... That's gotten into you from the daddy song. So, yeah. But, unfortunately, Horn's second... No, I'm sorry. Self-titled debut album comes in at number two for me. Okay. Now, number one. I got... My favorite Horn album now is going to be Follow the Leader... Yes, this is my favorite Korn album now. Holy shit, I fucking love this album. Um, I think this is the heaviest Korn album I've heard. Yes, there's a few cheesy songs, but I don't hate them anymore. But, um, yeah. I love all 13 of them. Well, 14 if you want to count the hit and track, which is a Cheech and Chong cover. But, um, but yeah. Here are the songs I love. It's on Freak on the Leash is an awesome fucking song. I do love that one. Got the Life is an amazing one. Dead Bodies Everywhere. That is my favorite corn song of all time. Dead Bodies Everywhere. Um, Children of the Corn, which features Ice Cube. Yes, Ice Cube from NWA. Uh, BBK, which stands for Big Black Cock, as in K, like corn. Pretty on the Family, which features Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. That sounds a funny track, though. Many people hate it, but I find it funny. Reclaim My Place, Justin Seed, Camel Tosis, featuring Trey Hardon. I mean Hardson, Hardson, and My Gift to You. My Gift to You has this doom metal sounding track, and I fucking love it. 
and erect my eyes, which is a hidden track, and it's a cover from Cheech and Chong. So yeah. Um, yep, this is still my favorite. Well, it's now my favorite porn album. Um, it's it's their heavy sounding album. It's a fucking classic. I love it from start to finish. I don't hate these filler songs anymore, but it's whatever. I fucking love this album now. And yeah, that is my corn album ranking from worst to best. So what is your corn album ranking from worst to best? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, so you let me know. I will be uploading my DL ranking very, very shortly. I'm almost done with it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't know what my re-ranking will be. It's either a Mushroom Head or Van Halen, but it's probably Mushroom Head that will be next. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say here. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell and the notification. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and most importantly, share this video so I can get more views and subscribers. Make sure you join me on my live stream every Tuesday. And make sure you subscribe to my Prison Gamer channel. So until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everyone.